All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Backlog Adventure. I'm Tucker, joined by my toothy grin co-host, Tanner Dykstra. And today, we're here to talk about the topic that is on all of our minds, the post credit scene of Venom. Let there be carnage. We just did our review. After seeing the movie, card for that is in the corner for our discussion of the film. But really, guys, and if you've seen the movie, or if you're cognizant of this film and its context, the movie doesn't matter. It really is nope. the post credit scene that matters for this film, and we are excited to talk about that, significantly more so than we were to talk about the film itself. But if you want to talk to us about this movie, the post credits, the future of the MCU, the future of Marvel properties, join our Discord. The link is in the description. Also, I respond to any comments that are, that are left below. I'd love to hear your theories. And also, we're going to be talking about more of this in the future and other Marvel properties, so you can subscribe to our channel. Please do. That would be awesome of you. We would like love you. Video. That that also makes me a little bit happy. I see a little light. Yeah. I'm like, yes, yes, a like. Uh, but Tanner, give me a quick synopsis of what happens in the Venom Let There Be Carnage post credit scene. Okie dokie. So, Eddie Brock is on the run from the FBI with the Venom, yes, and yes. they're in Tahiti or something. I don't know. Who's to say? Uh, Does, but they're, doesn't they're, matter. They're, Missile they're in chilling. this tropical location. They're chilling out Max and relaxing in their hotel hotel room. Yes. And Venom's like, I lived a long time. I can expose your mind to all sorts of shit you ain't even seen, Eddie Brock. And Amazing. Eddie Brock's like, lay it on me, Venom. I can handle it. And he, and they, he apparently starts to do it. But then the, the st shit starts going wibbly wobbly. And they're like, oh, what's going on here? And then they they get shifted into the into a, into a, a similar looking universe. But you can tell that something's wrong something's off about the whole situation yeah, there's, there's folded towel cranes on the bed those there's don't exist in venom's cranes. universe but then the tv flicks on me you hear the sweet baritone voice of one mr jk simmons as j jonah jameson in the mcu he's bald-headed he runs the daily bugle podcast television something station of that, of that regard and we know tucker from that moment we are in the we are set squarely in the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we see Tom Holland's Spider-Man on screen. Venom gives that boy a I good. Think it's, just, it's just a JPEG of him. It is. It's it's like a weird little like GIF essentially. I think yeah. he is moving, but Venom gives that boy a, a good sweet lick on the screen, and then a, a shirtless guy comes out and says, "What are you doing in my room?" And Eddie Brock says, "I don't know." Yeah, and that's and that's where we're left with quest with obviously more questions than answers because this will tie obviously, into Spider-Man No Way Home, which is our, our, our first fully multiversal uh, experience in the MCU. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could say Loki. But um, this is interesting for a lot of reasons. We had a very mm -hmm. long discussion about this, and we're going to run through our points again and just sort of bullshit about whatever this could mean because yes. uh, this opens a lot of questions, not necessarily about Venom being in No Way Home because that's pretty obvious. He'll yes. serve a bit role as a B-tier villain, and it'll be fun. Whatever. That that's fine. Mm -hmm. But my the question remains then is if Sony was so intent on saying no, fuck you, we don't need the MCU, Kevin Feige, get the hell out of here. But now they've clearly shelled back into that. Will they have the gumption or will it be possible for them to ex extract themselves from the context of the MCU? Once this is over, I guess, but they have a lot of projects in the works. And do they want their own universe? Do they want these to tie into greater future Marvel projects? What the fuck well, is Morbius? How does Morbius fit into this? Tucker, I it's think a whole we're getting chain of events. I think it, I think we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. We need to wind it back a little bit. Okay, we okay. need that. We just start from square one. What role will Venom play in No Way Home? We know he's going to be in it. We know this for a fact. Well, presumably they're well, almost for a fact. Yeah. Is he going to be a member of the Sinister Six? Is he going to align himself against the hero Spider-Man along with these other maniacal murderers for some reason? We we, we don't have any uh, a confirmed cast of who the villains are for this. There's a yes. lot of presumed ones. That the I think only confirmed confirmed ones are Jamie Foxx, Electro, uh, um, Doc Ock, and Green Goblin. Yes. Um, and then we can presume Mysterio is not dead. Vulture still exists in the MCU. I, I think they dropped Scorpion. I think that was a setup for something that they didn't realize was going to get kicked to the backside. Mm -hmm. um, so he doesn't matter. Uh, and now I guess Venom is our sixth. And that's a really solid Sinister Six. But yeah. there's the question marks of, are they doing uh, 
lizard uh, there was some weird thing in the background of one shot uh, maybe that was a lot of people saying that might have been venom too in oh, the trailer that, that is certainly possible yeah um is sandman there, there are vil- there are other villains that they can do i i would not yeah. be surprised if they just do cameo roles for them we're but presuming yeah but we are presuming that they're doing the sinister six Paul, maybe they're doing Paul giamatti rhino maybe they're doing the uh the i'm trying to think of a, a, a adjective that starts with n for nine the terrible 10 perhaps or something sure, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. but i i mean presumably I, I i it'd be very strange if they're like and spider-man and venom team up in no way home as well yeah. on top of the two other spider-men it's interesting <laughs> yeah you're right he fits in a really strange position because because he's a good guy yeah he, the venom the venom and eddie brock that we're familiar with from venom and venom let there be carnage have transitioned into this role of as they call themselves, the lethal, lethal protector, protector, which is yeah. fun. I, I kind of like that as like a descriptor for them. Yeah. But Venom doesn't, on the whole, kill people. He's not seeking out to align with with malice in a bad way because mm-hmm. Eddie Brock's there being responsible, holding him back. Uh, so he he wouldn't be a part of the Sinister Six. I don't think Eddie Brock would let that happen. Exactly, right? That's what you yeah. would think. Unless there's some weird chain of events that like he gets convinced that Spider-Man... Spider-Man is apparently a murderer in this, or that, that's what the public's conception of him is. That's a great so, point. So Venom that could be and, it. and Eddie doesn't know anything about him, and Venom is, True. is full hardy and headstrong. Uh, Tom Hardy, if you will. Uh, ah. and, and so maybe he's like, oh, this guy that everyone's on TV saying a murderer? Let's go after him. And then he bumbles into a chain of events that the other uh, villains are like, yeah, he's a murderer. Yeah, let's uh, you work with us, buddy. Yeah. And he's like, sweet. Yeah, we'll take him down together. Yeah, I mean, I guess we also don't know how much teaming up is going to happen uh, sure. with this. It could be like, I mean, we see the green, gu- the the pumpkin bomb, and Doc Ock on that bridge. Maybe it's just the Raimi Spider-Man villains that team up together, and like they encounter these other villains throughout their adventure. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Though I mm-hmm. would say teaming up, you've got to have some interaction between uh, Willem Dafoe and Jake Gyllenhaal. At, yeah. At the at the bare minimum, I do think that Mysterio is more involved. I think um, having them all together in some sequence is most certainly going to happen. Mm-hmm. I, just just for the iconic shot of whatever it is. Yes. With, with Mysterio and his big fishbowl floating behind Green Goblin and Doc Ock and Electro and, and you get the th- and... you get the three Spider Man. I'm verging on goosebumps just thinking about this, it, painting it, this frame in my mind. No, but honestly, it's actually more interesting now that we've inserted Venom into this. I yes, was absolutely. Thinking, Okay, we've got the two universes we're familiar with. We've got the MCU. That's that's enough. That's fine. But yeah. I kind of like the one little additional wart on top of it that is, oh, yeah, the Venom universe is now a part of this as well. And I am not ashamed to say that I will be, after this video is over, ranking Venom and Venom Therapy Carnage in my MCU ranks because they are now canon. There is a MCU scene in Venom Therapy Carnage. Yes. There, and that's it. And I think now, Tucker, we can ex- we can extrapolate out to talk about the Sony Marvel Universe and how it plays into the MCU Disney multiverse. Yeah, uh, isn't it not called the Spump anymore? I'm. It's Spump in my heart. No, it's on, Sony's Tucker. Spider-Man Universe. It used to be called the Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel Characters, which was a terrible name, but it had the uh, acronym Spunk. Spunk. Hey, which was fun to say. It's Spump in my heart, baby. Spunk in my heart, spunk in every day, spunk in all night. You know what I'm saying? Spunk in my brain, spunk in my mouth, spunk in my eye. Now, now, if I'm just going to rattle through these and we're talking about the future of, of this franchise, because yeah. we don't even actually know if... We'll, we'll talk about Morbius in a second. That's a fucking that's yeah. another question. Who cares? <laughs> but we've got Morbius planned for the death slot of January 28th, 2022. That mm-hmm. movie's going to fucking fail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Craven the Hunter for, oh, Jesus, the same slot of 2023... Yeah. Uh, there is a Night Watch movie. Of course. A who could, who Sinister could forget? Six movie, which who the fuck knows? Oh, wait, no. Probably not. Hold on. Yeah, those, these are. Ca- there's Sinister a lot of these that are canceled. Yeah, no. So I'm just going to. Madam Web. Eh, that's September 2019. That's in May 2020. Okay, so that's still closer. Uh, Untitled Roberto Orki Project. Jackpot. Olivia Wilde's presumably directing a Spider Woman film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there is a Silk television show. So a lot of these things are in flux. And yes. here, here's what here's what it comes down to my assertion, Doctor. 
Uh, my assertion, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit doomer pill. I'm a bit black pilled on this whole thing. I think Venom is the most financially successful and popular Sony Spider-Man property they have. Easily, I think they'll tie him into No Way Home. There'll be a thing where they defeat all the villains at the end of No Way Home, and they're gonna clean their hands of it. Sure. Now I know there's the additional wrinkle of a certain uh, Michael Keatonino uh, in the in the Morbius trailer. Yeah. Which can can you believe that they put that in the trailer? That's really like, strange, isn't it? Like, like it wasn't actually that big of a moment when that happened. Like you, you, I don't remember that being a huge deal. I mean, I was like, what the fuck? What does this mean? People are pe yeah. People were like, oh, uh, Vulture in the trailer, or Michael Keaton in the trailer, and Spider Man graffiti on the wall. As yeah. well in the Morbius trailer, and, and it's it's fine. It, that, that that wrinkle is so strange because we don't know how much Morbius matters. We don't know if Morbius is even in the same universe as Mar of as Venom and Venom. No, we don't Morbius. actually. Um, and and the 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 uh spray paint on the wall is is Raimi Spider Man. I thought it was. I thought graffiti. people were saying it was uh it was Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Oh well, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But regardless, they're they're combining so many disparate aspects and. The craziest part about all of this, and we were discussing this earlier, is this was supposed to come out, Morbius was supposed to come out before No Way Home. Yes. And they showed Michael Keaton Vulture, presumably, in the trailer, like, a year and a half, two years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's wild. Now, yeah, let me get down to my assertion with Morbius. So, I, I think they, they take Venom and they take him out at the end of No Way Home. Yeah. Morbius... I don't really know what the hell's going on with this movie. It's going to be bad, but the MCU tie-ins are just off the wall. Mm -hmm. I think Sony is well known to be shitting the bed with all these things. They they can't they they greenlight and cancel properties just like e eating and breathing. But I think that they cut out any ties to the MCU from Morbius. I think that maybe we get Michael Keaton still, but he's he maybe goes nameless, may, and I know you. I know you have takes on this, and I'd like to get to your more interesting takes. But I'm I'm going from an analytical, more grounded standpoint of they fucked this COVID nineteen fucked the release schedule of all yeah. this. They're gonna try and do damage control on this whole thing, and Morbius will make three hundred million dollars, and everyone will forget about it, and that'll be it. Yeah, the the reason I would push back against that is because I think what they're going to see is with Venom, Let There Be Carnage doing presumably fine. I mean, the first yeah. one did way better than it should have. Oh, yeah. Uh, and and they made a sequel to it, and so people are going to see that. And then realizing that it connects to No Way Home, and then it's going to get a second bump once people are talking about that post-credits, and people are like, oh, okay, oh, it's MCU. Okay, I'll go see it now. I want to see how it ties into No Way Home. It barely does, but it sets up mm -hmm. that Venom's there. Then everyone and their fucking great-grandmother is going to go see No Way Home, and they're going to see Venom in that, and then something's gonna happen with Venom at the end of it. Doesn't really matter what. But then I I believe that they can push Morbius, Sony can as the next MCU movie if they they play up those connections. That's bold. Morbius will be m multitudes more successful if they play up the fact that this is Michael Keaton Vulture. From yeah, the, I mean that's from, only from the MCU from the movie you saw a month ago. Mm -hmm. Like. If they do that, Morbius will be way bigger of a deal than it is, and they will make a lot more money, and that's really what matters at the end of the day. Today. True, but I think I I just I just question if it's viable to do that. Like, can they? Will they? Will Dis Will Disney it's let that? It's filmed. Yeah, that's exactly. the craziest part. Like this movie fits somewhere. It's set in, in stone. Multiverse. I mean, you could do reshoots, I suppose. To but how much reshooting can you do to like? infuse this film into the disney mcu multiverse well, I, I don't know if it's if there's any extent that you could do it what i'm what i'm more getting at is not necessarily making it important to the yeah. mcu storyline but uh, overplaying the fact that this is technically canon mm. if they play up the fact that morbius and vulture are meeting and you know vulture from spider-man homecoming from the actual successful franchise that is the mcu if they yes. play that up in the trailers People will go see the movie, and even if it's not a huge deal in the film, I, I think they could push that through their marketing to like buy a technicality. This is the next MCU movie. <laughs> yeah, but I, I guess what's really more important than whatever money-making scheme Sony's got pulled to like gaslight the audience into thinking Morbius is an MCU film is 
we know that multiverse is going to be a thing, at yeah. least until Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Past that, as we talked about with Kang, with yes. uh, Quantumania, Loki with season uh, Loki Season 2. More what if? So, more what if. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, are Sony, is the Sony Marvel Universe and the MCU now intrinsically tied? Will that relationship continue yeah. to crop up, or is it a one-and-done sort of deal? I think what we're going to see is a, a boost to Morbius mm -hmm. and a, a boost in interest in the Sony, the, in the Spunk, essentially. Mm -hmm. And that'll make them care more about what they do in those movies. I, I think sure. that they will realize, okay, this actually has promise. Tying it in as sort of the side universe and, and having it connect occasionally uh, could be interesting. We can tell our own stories, tie them in. More people will see them because they're related. And I think it will end up with better products. I, I think Good. this is a positive thing for, for the sort of positive. Marvel characters. Because sure. I love characters like, like Spider-Woman and Silk. Those are some of my favorite superheroes. I love some of their runs. And I really want to see them do well and, and tie into actual projects and, and have some merit to them. Mm -hmm. But So I, I think that this is going to be a direction that they take. Whether that means Craven the Hunter is canon and the mcu doesn't really matter but once they factor in the fact that these are now more successful and can be tied into the mcu that will be in their consideration for the production of their future products sure. so we may not see this connection come to full fruition until you know madam web or whatever it doesn't matter but oh, fucking hell uh, but i i think they want to have that as a, a thing to prop up these movies in the future mm -hmm. sure it's I, better I, for I, everyone it's a win-win-win I will I will agree with you there, but what I'm what I'm really more interested in, Tucker, is uh, Sp Spider Man Four. Is it a Spider Verse yeah. movie now, or is it just a one and done thing with Venom in No Way Home? Uh, you know, we we we. It's hard to imagine like Venom or Spider Woman or what have you cropping up in Loki season two or Quantumania. Yeah. So at the end of the day, does this Venom post credit scene tying it into the MCU have legs, or is it just a No Way Home promotion? Is it no? It is a No Way Home promotion. Well, yes. It was very clearly. Does it also have legs? It was very clearly filmed separately. It, it oh yeah. Has no connection to the film. If this had not been on the end, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, to to whatever. And the and the interesting thing is that clearly the plan is to return to that universe, return to the the Venom universe with with a P Mulligan as toxin. Uh, oh, can't Venom wait for Threnum. For Threnum, yeah. Uh, so so that puts it in a weird position where we now have the confirmed access of multiverse and whatever fucking crazy faction that takes. We have Morbius adding its own wrinkle to things in a really yeah. strange way. But at, at this point, I think it almost doesn't even matter hmm. because if things are canon, if they're not, if they're in one universe, okay, but if they're then they're connected to Venom and Venom's connected to the MCU. So like there's there's webs and tangled things going on. Webs you say. <laughs> I, I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna play up the connections that they have and, and lean into those when they can, but then it doesn't really matter for the ones that aren't. Sure, sure. Yeah. They I can mean no either or. Yeah. These are I, side I, stories. They are D tier stories in the, I in think the Marvel so. universe. I think they are they are D tier is is the point they're talking about. I think Disney is begrudgingly opening the door just a crack to let Venom in, and they're gonna slam it real quick whenever they try to like, hey, uh, can I bring Morbius over too? No, no, you cannot. You cannot yeah. bring Morbius over. Mm -hmm. Hey, can we uh can we put our Madam Web movie? No, no, you can't put your Madam Web movie in the MTU. You just open a huge can of worms in my brain because we had a conversation and you lightly mentioned it that i thought that the possibility of spider-man 4 the fourth mcu spider-man movie being a spider-verse movie mm -hmm. i'm retracting that <gasps> i think eventually we will get a miles a, a, a live action miles morales in the mcu whatever yes. format that takes and he will be introduced through some sort of shenanigans that involves him and peter parker I, either multiverse or just he already exists yeah. as we know in the mcu so it doesn't it doesn't matter at that point yeah um but what they can lead to is their own crossover mm. is they have venom they have access to these other properties with silk and spider woman and 
and whatever. And they have the possibility of recruiting Tom Holland Spider-Man to show up in their crossover. So it's not a actual MCU Spider-Man board movie, but a live action Spider-Verse of some kind that incorporates all of their properties and happens to feature Tom Holland Spider-Man, I think is the most likely scenario. Yeah. You know, Tucker, people love Into the Spider-Verse. People are going to love Into the Spider-Verse too. Mm Mm-hmm. They could very easily be like, what, Tucker, what if what if they did let the end of Into the Spider-Verse 2, they're like, we're, we're, we're also making a live-action Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. And Tucker, th- this is highly unlikely, but what if they'd made like a live-action animated hybrids overall Spider-Verse movie? That'd be very wonky and very strange and very hard to pull off, and I don't think they would do it. Yeah. But... There is a can of worms here that you're talking about that, you know, Sony has the distribution rights to MCU Spider-Man yes. to they fully own Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, who exactly. it's all but confirmed that they're in uh, no, no, no Way Home. Yep. Tucker, we could get the we could get the live action Spider-Verse movie of our dreams and nightmares that would presumably also have Venom and Morbius in it. That's the nightmare part. Yeah, Venom and Morbius and Craven and Madam Web and Silver Sable and Silk and Spider Woman. They just fucking go crazy. And and at that point, I think I, again, what I'm saying is, I think this is all a net positive. I think that mm-hmm. more focus on the cohesion of these films and caring about what they mean for the future will make them better. It worked with the MCU, and if they have someone, hopefully, with a competent hand to guide this series... Yeah, Avya Rod. He's never made a bad movie, no. except for this one, and the last one. Yeah. Uh, then then these movies will be better for it, and I will be more excited for them. I, I think there's a future where the Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel characters be- benefits immensely from this, and we get more Marvel movies that are better. Yeah. I At the end of the day... It's what it's what Sony always wanted. They got their cake and they ate it too, you know? They they quote unquote made their universe without Spider Man, but also get that sweet, sweet boost from Disney that they clearly always wanted. Get that clear, that sweet sweet boost from Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> and their Spider Man Spider Man less movie franchises. Exactly. exactly. But Tucker, is that we all? Is that all we have to say about yeah, no, about I, this? I've, I've I've spun my ropes. Do you have Do you have any final predictions? Any final? I've also I've sp- I've spun my web. If you if you catch my meaning. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't. Uh, I'm excited, excited for Venom three with Toxin. I'm excited for Threnom. Now there's now there's Toxin. It's Venom. Venom. Let there be carnage. Threnom. Now there's some Toxin in it too. Uh, I I am honestly super excited to see Tom Hardy in No Way Home because yeah. it's such a weird amalgamation of like sh- this stuff, the MCU stuff that does work, and the Sony stuff that just doesn't work. And they're like, hey, what about this too? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it, it's gonna, gonna feel so dissonant. And you yeah. know what's you know what's great is we're gonna see competent animation and budget behind the Venom animation. We're gonna see oh the best looking version of. Of do you Tom think Hardy Venom that we've ever, we've ever seen before? Most importantly, do you think he's going to copy the Spider-Man logo and carry that into Threnom? Yes, one yeah. g- bazillion percent. Are you kidding me? Because right now he's exact- just got now he's just got some weird white veins like coming over his shoulders. Yeah, and it's yes. really gross and not yes. appealing. Design. I think he absolutely copies the Spider-Man logo and he brings that into Threnom. What's the deal, Tucker? You just had a uh, you just had a revelation. Yeah, I mean Venom wants they're, they're them to be the what are the fucking lethal avenger lethal lethal protector lethal protector yeah uh <laughs> lethal weapon uh <laughs> he wants them to be like a superhero so yeah. th- then he's like oh look how at by the end of the no way home presumably <laughs> venom and and eddie brock will be like oh look how cool spider-man is look at, i want to be like them Zoop, ah mm-hmm. we're now this su- this is the superhero costume you were talking about venom it's not a cape it's not a mask you got that covered but yeah. now you've got a more iconic and and pleasing design and now we can go back to our shitty, shitty universe full of shitty, terrible, stupid people. And fight P. Mulligan. And fight P. Mulligan, everyone's favorite character from Venom, Let There Be Carnage. A movie that we reviewed, by the way. Uh, we did a, we did a full review for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, we, we might have plugged that at the beginning meant, of the video. The video yeah. Very good. Thank you, Tucker. The, the, the possibilities, the vast multiverse has fried my brain. And speaking of the vast Venom, multiverse... Venom... Let There Be Carnage 
opened your mind to possibilities that you your mortal your mortal being was not ready for. Yes. Speaking of the vast Voltimer, multi Voltimers. Oof. Yeah. Oof. He's, he's tired, guys. We're tired. Uh, we no, we just saw. Uh, we yeah. Well, <laughs> We, we watch what if we watch what if when we talk about it sometimes that's true we watch all the marvel stuff and we and we and we talk about it uh that's what the show is it's the untitled marvel project it's a playlist on our channel which you should subscribe to but tucker that's all i got tucker you're the host of this video wrap it up wrap it I, up baby I, I i i felt like you were grabbing the reins from me and like finishing no. the video but thank yeah, you I'm, very I'm shoving much it back in your hand for watching everyone i really hope that we enlightened you to some possibilities and and i think it'd be fun to look back on this and seven years uh and, and see if we were right with any yeah. of this um, oh let us know your thoughts in the comments but wh wh how do you think it's gonna all tie in let us if you think we're idiots you need to let us know you yes. bring us down a peg please please do and and, and with yeah. that we'll see you guys in another video thanks for watching